joined by head cross country coach Tracy Hellman here on Thursday afternoon. Uh, coach, talk to us uh, just a little bit about how the, the rest of your fall camp has gone, getting very close one day away here from your first competition. Uh, talk to us about what your team has been doing out there. Yeah, we've had a great fall camp. We went out to the Black Hills to do our annual trip and uh, got a lot accomplished there in terms of team uh, unity, team chemistry, getting the new kids plugged in, introduced, uh, everybody kind of on the same page. And uh, we've back, been back in Sioux Falls for a few days here and, and getting geared up for the for the Augustine Twilight, our first uh, competition here tomorrow night. The heat has uh, has came back and found us again here. We couldn't escape it. How has that affected uh, your training schedule here this fall, and, and what have you guys done to kind of prepare for that as you head into competition season? Well, it affects, I think, everybody, every sport, but uh, certainly in our sport, it, it makes a big difference. Uh, we've had to adjust workouts. We've had to go earlier in the day. We've had to do a lot of different things just based on uh, uh, kids being dehydrated and uh, the heat of the day. So. Uh, we've been doing a little bit earlier than we normally would and just trying to uh, focus on uh, the importance of hydration and, and talking to kids about that. Here we are back into competition now. Got to be exciting. Brand new season. Uh, what are your expectations heading out there into your first, your first team meet here? You know, this meet's always a meet that we look forward to for a couple different uh, things. Uh, it's, it's a different environment with the lights and the music and being in at night. But the second thing, to see kind of what we're working with. It's it's one thing having practice every single day, but then when you get to a meet environment, a meet competition, it just changes. No matter how you try to plan for it or not plan for it, it's just a different environment and kids will uh, perform at a little bit higher level if it's a competition setting. So we're just looking forward to seeing you know, what our fitness is in a, in a race format and then after that race uh, assess our, our ability, I guess, of where we're at and what we need to do to get better and go from there. Tell the fans of the community just a little bit about your Twilight Meet. I know this is something you're very proud of, something you came up with, and uh, kind of where did you come up with the idea, and, and uh, how do the kids respond to it? Yeah, uh, it's actually kind of a neat story. I was driving back in Sioux Falls from, uh, I can't remember where I was at, but I came off the interstate, and the Yankton Trails was lit up for a soccer match. It was late at night, and I remember looking down there and thinking, wow, that'd be a great place to have a night cross-country meet because you don't see those in cross-country. In track, you might see a night meet with the lights. And so I did a little bit of leg work and started trying to communicate with uh, Parks and Rec to see if I could get uh, a field for an evening with, with uh, the lights. And we finally got to work out. And, and then I kind of just talked amongst some of the coaches and asked them if they'd be interested in something like that. And uh, last year was our first year. We got 10 teams. Uh, it was really pretty popular. We had a ton of community people out at the event. Now we decided to even branch a little bit more. And uh, we're adding a high school section just to you know, add to the community, add to the environment. So this year we have 11 colleges, we have seven high schools. Uh, I'm expecting many community members out there and it's it's unique. It's one of the only night cross country meets in the United States at the high school or college level and uh, we're looking forward to putting on a good event. One last question here. Your team uh, getting a lot of respect here in the preseason polls, uh, conference-wise, regionally and everything. Um, obviously defending national champions on the women's side. Uh, very strong team coming back. Everybody's back. We've got a very strong crew coming back. Uh, kind of what are your expectations and what are you hoping for for this year's both men's and women's teams? We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. We want to get better every week. We want to progress and we want to get to the last week of the season, obviously championship season, running our best. I mean that makes sense but uh, there's a lot of things that go into that and so we're trying to leave no stone unturned doing whatever we can to give ourselves an opportunity to defend in the women and obviously take that next step with the men. And I like uh, the group we have right now. I know it's not going to be easy, but if we uh, just keep healthy and keep working hard, uh, we'll have a good shot at it. All right, thanks, Tracy. Good luck tomorrow night, and we'll catch up with you after tomorrow night's meet. Sounds good. Thanks.